Hello, welcome back, and today I'm showing you my car. This is the Adder, well, I think it's called the uh, the Nevo. It's made by the same company that makes the Adder. It's the Truffaut Nevo. As you can see, I have actually got uh, a white and black custom paint job, and I actually have modded out the engine. And I'll actually, I'll take it to Los Santos Customs and show you the upgrades I put on the later, but this is the Nevo, this can be my review. I'm going to tell you lots of stuff about it, on speed, the handling, what I think of it, and an overall opinion, whether it's worth it. Alright guys, so, we can see, I'm going first person, this is the Nevo. We'll look at the front of the car, it's very nice, you got lights, you also got some other little lights above the light as well. I, I actually chose this, um, I don't know what it's called, but where, you see where the Trophy logo is, yeah I chose that. And uh, chose my bumpers, you know, my, my rims, which I'm not bothered about. I wanted white and black because I, I thought it, it, it just looked nice. Plus, this is the uh, I got this on the back. I like that. And then we got the interior. I'll show the interior. Yo, you at, so, you know, it's obviously I'm all about that first person experience. So, the seats are pretty nice. You know, it's a nice car inside. You get to see all these buttons and stuff. You see, it says uh, IGN, <laughs> ACC, Fuel P, Water, Fan. You know, it's, it's nice and detailed. And you got a little trophy log, you got the uh, you got all the simple stuff. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you the speed. I'm gonna, actually, I'll show you the upgrades right now in Los Santos Customs. All right, so we've arrived at Los Santos Customs. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? So, we we'll start off with the arm upgrades. 100% armor because I like my armor and the brakes. I got the top race brakes, you know. I like to spend a lot of money on my cars, especially ones I like so much. The front bumpers, I have chose the primary color intakes. I might go for this one, but you know, I'm a, I like this. I don't like to have too much black, but you know, it, it's pretty nice. You see, you got the stock front bumper, you, know, you, you can have a look at that. I've got the stock rear bumper, and we, have, we got all this different stuff, but I, I chose the stock rear. I don't know. I, I, I like it when it's just like already black. Then we got what we got next, the roll cage. I have not got a roll cage, but you know, we'll go for a roll cage. Why the hell not? Engine, EMS upgrade level 4. You know, as always, you, you want to be fast, especially in races and stuff like that. Carbon hex exhausts. I like to keep it black. I find it nice. I mean, you know what? I like this one. I like it. I only like the black ones. Not a fan of the white ones, really. I think the black fits well, but you know I've I've chose these ones. The explosives I don't choose explosives. I'm not bothered. Stock fender, not a fan. I like these little lines. However, you know you can change them. The grill I actually got a primary color grill. You know you can change it as to whatever the hell you want. You know you can have this one. You know it's nice. The hood I have a stock hood. Sorry guys, you know. I like to have much white as possible on my car. I mean, you probably think of white. Why don't I just do the whole car white? I want to have some black on it. You know, so I've, I like black and white. I like. I, I just like the way it goes together. And we go down. We got the horn. I haven't actually chose one. I don't really pay for horns because they're just sort of a waste of money. Headlights. You know, I got the xenon lights because you know I, I like my lights to look really lovely. And we got the neon, we got the front, back, and sides, cost quite a lot. And also got the mint green, because I, you know, I think, you know, th th there's different colours, you know, I like this one, but I also like mint green. You know what, I'm gonna go, hmm, I'm gonna go for red. Yeah, I like that. But anyways, go down, we got the lost theft protection, you know, got, you, you, you get that with, with the car. The plates, really don't care about the plates. You know, my respray. Uh, I haven't got chrome yet because I'm, a, you know, I'm too shit. But, you know. I've actually got the, the matte ice white. You know how it is. Secondary colour. I chose, you know. It's nice to have these nice colours on it. The roof. we got the carbon roof. Although, I, I like the stock roof. You know, the carbon roof is pretty nice as well. I think I'm going to go for the stock roof again. It's pretty nice. And you can sell, I can sell the car right now for about... One million three hundred seventy thousand. Not too bad. All right, so that's the car itself. That's the upgrades. That's the customizations. And now let's go on to the speed, the Boss, handling, and all me. that great stuff. All right, so we get to see the top speed here. It is just over four bars, reaching into the fifth bar. 
and the acceleration is 5 bars. The acceleration is great, I like it, it's very nice. The braking is 2 bars, you know, then again, it's not that good. But the traction, you know, we're going into the 5th bar. So now that you've seen the starts, I'm going to show you some driving footage of me driving down the highways. You know, just show you how it feels, and then at the end I'll show you my overall opinion of, of the car. <coughs> Alright, so we're driving down the, uh, the streets. In the rich area, I'm going to go through to the uh, sort of like Compton area where Franklin lives. You see, it's, it's a pretty nice car. Sometimes it can be hard to control, but you know, it's it, it's pretty nice. Obviously, you never go up the mountains in this. This is not an off-road car. Some some idiots might think this is a good car to go in the mountains with. But you know, it's it's a nice car, especially if you're doing a lot of jobs in the city area and you want it in a fast way, fast sort of like nice, nice presentable way to go around the city. You know, I, I hit a car there. Obviously, my bad. See, it's a pretty nice car, it's got nice stats, you know. Honestly, I recommend this car. So, right now, if we just go and we check in the Legendary Motorsport. We'll just go in the Legendary Motorsport and check how much it is now. So, Traveland, Traveland Transport, Legendary Motorsport. We go down, keep checking. I'll show you my car. I actually bought this car for about 2.5 mil, I think, roundabout something like that I bought it way back and I, I, I've only started playing GTA recently and I always thought you know why not show off my cars I mean we're not really show off but you know g give an idea of how good the cars actually are so I thought you know what what is my most prized car it's got to be the you know the, the trophy in here but it's a good car I'd recommend it we're actually going to be looking for it you know I'm going to fast forward to when I found the car <coughs> Alright, so it was on Benny's website, it's Trifo Nero, it is actually one and a half mil right now. Just under one and a half. So obviously I recommend it. Obviously, especially if you still have the adder, because I had the adder and I had it fully like customised up. So I sold that, I had a bit of cash on the side, I bought the Trifo Nero. I recommend it overall, honestly. Um obviously if you if you don't have enough like money for it then don't really go get it. But I'm saying if you have like ten mil you know, you might, you might have done the criminal mastermind heist, you might have had a bit of cash on you, buy the car, but obviously don't go around buying loads of cars, like, please, don't go around, and as of right now, I don't really know of any other amazing cars, so, you, you might have watched the video, it might have got a good idea of how good it is, but maybe go watch another video to go, you know, refresh your knowledge on the car, and anyway guys, um, I'm just going to show you some more gameplay of me driving with my voice in it, just to show you how it feels and how it looks when I'm going full speed and medium speed and stuff like that. Right. So I'll see you in the next video.